Hello, everybody. Welcome back to ICG's Get To It. Neverwind here. We're looking at The Hunter from Hood, Outlaws, and Legends. And here she is. We're going to go over the uh, perks here and get a quick look at those and some thoughts behind it. We're going to see how they impact gameplay and get some first initial thoughts. In perk slot one, first up we have Efficient Assassin. Gain increased XP for assassinations, quicker to perform, and they are faster uh, at filling the ability meter. Pretty basic. Not sure if I'm going to be sticking with this one. Fortuitous Fatality. Following an assassination, the next evade will cost no stamina, which can be kind of handy if you're dealing with two guards at once or trying to uh, get away from that goddamn hammer that john uses roving rogue crouch movement speed is increased retrieving ammo from the environment is easier and provides additional ammo that second part actually seems really nice the crouch movement speed based upon what i've seen isn't as much of an issue it is in the early game but once it gets to the pvp stuff that it really is not as much of a concern the retrieving of ammo is however shadow blanket increased gear capacity gear effect lasts longer again it it seems really handy in the pve piece based upon encounters done so far against other players this is not as important i don't think this however a coral container extra ammo and the total capacity is increased is going to be really nice i'm not sure the faster firing rate would be useful the pvp pve balance in this game it it's it does not lend itself to at least at the moment the assassination stuff so i'm not sure apart from the ammo capacity and starting ammo i'm not sure this one might will get a lot of play in perk slot 2 territorial thief the ability meter is fully filled upon the match start this actually can be really handy and the capture points are really important they are really really strategically necessary so can't stress enough how important the the capture points can be particularly towards the end game where you're trying to actually get the chest next up survivalist overall health pool is increased that could be really handy evading has increased distance and the invincibility length at the cost of higher stamina usage invincibility is now also active while sliding which as soon as i get better at sliding i think that might be really handy, particularly with the higher health pool. Veil Menace, whilst crouching in a bush, deals increased range damage and the ability meter recharges faster. Again, sounds really nice, but the amount of time you spend crouched in a bush at the end game when things really kind of get crunchy, I'm not sure that's going to be the best of perks. And Phantom Stalker, whilst the ability is active, Stroud visibility is reduced, and Crouch movement speed is increased. Again, that might be handy in early game, later game, I'm not sure. And that's where all of the balance comes in. You have to figure out, you know, when you're playing against human opponents versus when you're playing against the computer, can you balance that with gameplay? The third slot... Silent Slaughter, whilst the ability is active, assassinations will replenish the ability meter and prolong its duration. Again, really, really awesome in the PvE environment. PvP, I'm not so sure. It'll be a long-running one. Refined Frame, aim move speed is faster. That can be a lot. That, that might be really, really nice. Weapon accuracy, stability, and damage is improved, but recoil and recovery time 
is increased. The extra damage for that crossbow is, again, going to be really handy at the PvP point. An elusive wish. Overall duration of the ability is increased. Performing ranged or melee attacks will no longer cancel the ability early. That actually may be really, really nice. Mostly because... If you can get into combat at any point and still be shrouded, it's ugh. even more so than, you know, the silent slaughter where you can extend its duration. If in that duration you can continuously be in it regardless of attacking, that might be really nice. So... That's a look at the perks and some of my thoughts on them and how they will play out in the game. Thanks for tuning in. Again, this is Neverwin for ICG's Get To It, and we'll see you on the maps. Mm -hmm.